so this is the first question according to article 39 of the constitution the state shall in particular direct its policies towards securing one that the citizens men and women equally have the rights to an adequate means of livelihood two that the ownership and control of resource materials of the community are so distributed as best to subserve the common good three that there is equal pay for equal work of both men and women so moving on to the answer the answer is a uh, so as you can see this is article 39 of the constitution it de describes a certain policies to be followed by the state so these are uh, the six uh, policies that ha have to be followed so now moving on to the next question the second question the structural part of the constitution of india is to a large extent derived from a government of india act 1919 b government of india act 1935 c indian constitution d indian independence act 1947 so uh, the answer is B, and that is the Government of India Act 1935. So as you all might have known, uh, these are some other features that has been borrowed from the same. So uh, just a little more information, the Government of India Act 1935 is one of the principal legislations which are which we depend upon in the modern India for building up our constitution and, uh, and the others. So aside from the uh, GOA Act of 1935, the British Constitution is one of a major source of the constitutional provision. So moving on to the next one. The proclamation of emergency under Article 352 must be approved by both the houses of parliament within dash from the date of issue. Please put your answers in the chat box. Moving on to the answer. The answer is one month. Uh, this is described under Article 352, Clause 4. It states that every proclamation issued under the article shall be laid before each house of the parliament where except when it is a proclamation revoking a previous proclamation, it ceases to offer operate at the expiration of one month unless expiration of the period it has been approved by resolution of both the houses so this is what is article 352 class 4 says moving on to the next question by which constitutional amendments the number of ministers have been limited to 15 percentage of the total number of members of the lower house please put your answers in the chat box moving on to the answer the answer is b uh, the 91st amendment the 91st uh, 1a of the 91st amendment says that the number of ministers including the prime minister in the council of ministers shall not exceed 50 percentage of the lok sabha so moving on to the next question Amendment of which one of the provisions of the constitution requires ratification by legislatures of the state? Uh, kindly put the answers in the chat box. Moving on to the answer. Uh, and please read the uh, different options. First. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Uh, starting on with the first option is Article 157 relating to qualification for the appointment as governor of the state b article 123 relating to powers of the president to promulgate ordinances on the subjects mentioned in concurrent list during the recess of this parliament c article 56 relating to the term of the office of the president d article 54 relating to the election of the president moving on to the answer the answer is d relating to the election of the president so as you can see there are three different ways by which uh, the constitution may be amended first case is simple majority it does not it's not ex um, 
exhaustive of these three uh, of these stated points there are several other features that can be amended by simple majority then we have by special majority of the parliament and consent of the states which is uh, are these following and then by special majority of the parliament it includes fundamental right directive principles of state policy and any other amendment which is not covered by simple majority and uh, the simple special majority and consent of the states so these three are the different types of amendments of the constitution now moving on to the next question it is well accepted by thinkers philosophers and academicians that if justice liberty equality and fraternity including social economic and political justice the golden goals set out in the preamble to the constitution are to be achieved the indian polity has to be educated and educated with excellence this observation has been made by the supreme court in option a P A Inamdar was the state of Maharashtra. B M P Gopalakrishnan Nair was the state of Kerala. C Rajesh Kumar Gupta was the state of U P. D Unnakrishnan was the state of Andhra Pradesh. Kindly post your answers in the chat box. Moving on to the answer. The answer is D Unnakrishnan was the state of Andhra Pradesh. in this case the court has held that the right to education is not explicitly specified as a fundamental right it is inherent in the right to life guaranteed under article 21 so the answer is the unnakrishnan versus state of andhra pradesh moving on to the next question in which of the following cases it was held that the telephone tapping is an invasion of the right to privacy option a state of maharashtra versus murli diora option b govind was a state of madhya pradesh option c state legal services authority versus union of india and option d people's union for civil liberties versus union of india moving on to the answer the answer is the people's union of civil liberties versus Union of India and another. The citation is A I R nineteen seventy seven nineteen ninety seven S C five six eight. So moving on to the next question. List match list one with list two and select the correct answer using the codes given below the list. One A D R two right to education three. right against self incrimination for solitary confinement list 2 a onnakrishnan's case b afcon's infrastructure limited case c sunil batra case d nantini satyapati's case the options are a 1b 2d 3a 4c b 1b 2d 3c 4a c 1d 2b 3c 4a d 1b 2a 3d 4c so the answer is option d so now we can find out how to easily identify as we know the right against uh, uh, i mean the solitary confinement is a very popular case which is sunil batra's case and the option is 4c which is now we can narrow it down to two options and now we have just learned that the right to education has been emphasized in only krishnan's case that is 2a so striking down the other two remaining options we have the answer as d 1 b the alternate dispute resolution is linked to the afcon's infrastructure limited case 2a right to education only krishnan's case 3d right against self incrimination in nandini satyapati's case and 4c uh, solitary confinement in sunil batra's case moving on to the next question as per article 36 of the constitution in part 4 unless the context otherwise requires the state has the same meaning as in option a article 12 option b article 5 option c article 13 and option d article 1 kindly post your answers in the chat box moving on to the answer 
the answer is a so article 36 states that unless the context otherwise requires the state has the same meaning as in part three moving on to the next question the republic of india is a union of dash states a 28 b 29 c 30 d 27 Moving on to the answer. The answer is A, 28 states. So as we know, post the revocation of the status of Jammu and Kashmir to a union territory, right now we have 28 states in India. Moving on.